Hello, in this video we are going to be learning how to create web hooks with your robot. We will use Postman to test our web hook. You can download Postman from postman.com. The robot will be running in my local machine. Let's connect the robot. The robot is now connected to my workspace demo.robomotion.io. So to create a web hook, you would need HTTP in and HTTP out nodes under net package. The package comes with the robot. It is the default package. So you don't have to install an external package here. So HTTP in is used for listening a web hook from the IP address port and the endpoint you have you provided. This is the method uh, you, you can select get and post methods for your web hook. Let's call the endpoint test endpoint. The HTTP out node is used for returning a response to your uh, caller. Now uh, let's put a debug here and then let's try running this flow. The flow is started. Now we can use postman. Let's uh, call our address URL. This is the local IP address 9090 port we set to the HTTP properties and the test endpoint. We also uh, choose this uh, endpoint. Now let's send this request. Now the flow received the request and it shows the request body here. These are all coming from Postman. We can see it from here. The default values are hidden. So you can click this button and see all the values here. We can also add a parameter uh, that we can send this to the robot. You see the Postman is still waiting for a response from uh, the robot. Because we did not connect the HTTP outnet, it can't receive a response. So you have to cancel this request and now send it again. Now we received another request and see, you can see the field is set in the postman here. Now let's connect the HTTP out node to HTTP in and let's start the robot again and send the request. You see we received the response from the robot from the webhook we created but the body is empty to return a response data you need to set the value in the message body field of http out node to do that we can use a function uh, node here and let's set a value in the message body let's write hello world save it stop and start the robot again now the webhook is ready and listening we can send the request again you see we received the response from our webhook the flow is running on our local machine the problem here is you can't use this ip address and port uh, this is this is your webhook url but you can't give this address to a third-party cloud application because this is not a public url the cloud app won't be able to reach your robot and this webhook from internet so to do that uh, for your development phase maybe you can use a service called angrok you can go to angrok.com this is a nice service you can use just download the application it is a single binary uh, after the install you have to put this binary into a folder in your uh, system that is also in your environment path so let's use windows system 32 for that let's put the angrok binary here now it is ready to be used. Open your command prompt. Let's see if the binary is in our path. Yes. 
uh, we see the parameters that we can use we just need to use ngrok http and we have to give the port we are listening from in this machine it is 1990 when i run this ngrok service generates a, us a public reachable url so this url can be given to a cloud app a third party app setup uh, let's try this one let's now replace this url with the ngrok url the endpoint did not change so we will use test now let's run this and you see the ngrok service received the request it also it shows that and also our flow has received the forwarded request from the ngrok service and the response returned to the caller so this url is a public url that can be used in a cloud app a third party app but ngrok service this is the free free service we are using this uh, address changes in every two hours or eight hours you have to use the paid service of ngrok to have a permanent url for your web hooks or uh, you can install your robot into a public machine that you have a windows or, or a linux machine that has a public ip and port that can be reachable from internet you can do that uh, we will explain how to install the robot to a linux or windows machine in another video but this is how you can create a webhook with your robot